Hey guys, hope everyone is having a great day. I am pretty excited about doing this video. I think it's gonna be really fun and because I'm gonna talk about some of the products that I'm really loving right now. Some are old favorites and some are kind of new favorites. So uh, I kind of just wanted to share with people some of my finds that I think have really helped my hair, my skin, my makeup looks. Like I just wanted to share that with, with everyone that I knew and share it with other people that uh, hopefully you can kind of explore and see if these products work for you. So I have a lot, so I'm probably just gonna run right into this. And I'm gonna start in the shower. And I'm gonna start with this company that I just started using not too long ago, and it's called Function of Beauty. And it even says, for Anna. Uh, they, it is customized hair care. Shampoos, conditioners, um, you know, you take a little quiz and tell exactly what you're looking for in hair care. Um, for me, it's volumizing. I have very fine, thin hair. I wanted volumizing, but I wanted to like replenish and make sure it got, you know, the moisture and nutrients that it needed. And then you also get to pick your color, which you can go colorless too if you don't want those chemicals. And I went for pear. I can't remember, it was something really cute, like a cute, play on words, but it's, oh, it smells so good. So if you buy, I did the shampoo in pink because as everyone knows, pink is my favorite color. I did my conditioner in blue. So you know exactly, you know, uh, it's the shampoo is a little bit more pearlescent and of course, sorry about that. I had a phone call interrupted me so rudely. Anyway, the shampoo is got a pearlescent sheen to it. The conditioner is opaque. They smell amazing. If you buy the the pump shampoo and conditioner, they send you this little travel pack. It comes with little hair ties and comes with little squeeze bottles that tell you, this one says conditioner. And I have been traveling with this now for the last month and I adore this little case. It's just so cute with my deodorants even in there. <laughs> um, I love it. I've got my body wash my shampoo and conditioner they they give you four so you can do your lotion but i didn't want to put my lotion in that uh, so i just love that that is just so convenient that is one of i'm really loving these products right now now the other thing i'm using in my shower which i really love and i know a lot of people may have already been using this but i just recently started using it and really love it is the jergens um wet skin moisturizer that you use in the shower you apply it you know, to your legs and your arms and wherever you wanna be really moisturized. You rinse it off, you get out, you pat dry, and you really do feel very moisturized. Now, I really, I do still use a moisturizer out of the shower, but my skin has never been so, you know, actually <laughs> moisturized. <laughs> uh, I do struggle with having some dry skin. Uh, in the summer, I'm oily in my face, but I do year round get pretty dry um, on my skin, so I really have been loving using this. So that's a great product. Then let's see, um, now getting out of the shower and talking about, you know, the products that you use after you get out of the shower, I've recently come across um, a skincare line. I was using Rodan and Fields and I still really do love them and I still use some of their products, but I've really been turned on to this product and it has been wonderful for me. It is the Tatcha water cream. Now, this is expensive, but I was probably spending the same amount on Rodan and Fields. And, you know, I don't go through my skincare super fast, so I'm willing to kind of put a little bit more money into it. Um, but this, they do have, you know, different levels. This is for oily skin. Um, it's a very, very lightweight moisturizer. I put it on, I feel moisturized, but my skin is not oily. And I honestly, I've been using all their products and my skin has never felt smoother. Um, it's got a really pretty glow to it right now. I just think this is really good. Uh, you can find this on Sephora or Tatcha.com. It's T-A-T-C-H-A. I know it's expensive. And I think sometimes if you're not, you know, you're not sure if you're gonna like a product, you know, a lot of these um, more expensive companies have these really cool travel sets. So I bought this, it's got the rice polish, which is like their cleanser every day. Um, comes with their toner, which is called Essence, and a smaller of the water cream. Oops, sorry. 
smaller of the water cream. It's also got a little um, sunscreen, their uh, luminous dewy skin mist, which I, so many people rave about this. So it really, you just spray it on your face. I don't do it when I have makeup on. Um, I do it, um, you know, to give my skin some more moisture when, uh, like during the day or something. I really love that. This one came with blotting papers and I think it gave you one more. Oh yes, I do. I love this. Um, it's the One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil, which I use to take my eye makeup off. Uh, I've recently learned that the oil, it doesn't strip your all the, it doesn't strip every all the moisture and everything around your eye and your so I put this all over rinse and then I start uh then I really cleanse my face but I think that's you know that's a really good way to try a skincare line is to to do one of the travels where it has the minis and then you can see if you really do want to um invest in skincare but I will say you can there's so many good less expensive things out now um Pixie Beauty which is found at Target pretty much all of their skincare line is go. You can find Bliss at Target, number seven. Um, there's a really good French skincare called Vichy. It's V-I-C-H-Y that you can find at Walgreens. Um, so you don't necessarily have to spend that, you know, a ton of money, but I have been recently putting more um, emphasis on my skincare and trying, I've got a couple of blemishes that I'm working on, but trying to get rid of some of the discoloration that I have, um, and just, you know, getting older. I just want to take care of my skin. So, uh, I really, really love the Tatcha. Let's see the next. Um, oh, this is an old favorite. I have been using this forever. Um, and I still continue to use it every day. Every time I take a shower, when I get out of the shower, the first thing I do to my hair is put in Bumble and Bumble thickening spray. I just spritz it through my hair. I just really like that it's lightweight. It doesn't add any heaviness to my hair. It doesn't make it greasy. Um, I also, you know, still use on the side too the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Shampoo. Uh, that's still in my shower. I still use it. Uh, I just was trying to get a couple other, you know, try a couple of new shampoos. I think sometimes it's important to kind of mix that up and keep your keep your hair guessing. <laughs> uh, and like I said, I did use Rodan and Fields. I have used Rodan and Fields for many years. It's really helped me. I used to work in a compounding pharmacy and my skin went nuts. Uh, I broke out everywhere. I think it was all the harsh chemicals from cleaning the cleaning room every day. And I used their Soothe regimen and it really did wonders. So I highly recommend Rodan and Fields. I just kind of needed um, a change, but I still use the Rodan and Field Lash Boost. Um, I use this pretty much every day. Um, I have short eyelashes. They're kind of thin. This really helps the volume. So then you can put a mascara on and not necessarily have to wear, you know, big eyelashes like this. Uh, I was just having fun today. So this is a really good product. Okay. Now we're going to switch into, well, wait a minute. We got one more. Um, I have really started you know, like I said, trying to take care of my skin. And one of those things is not laying out and not going to the tanning bed. So I have been researching and doing a little bit more with self tanners. And I really found this one product that I really like, and it's from Tarte. So you can find it at Sephora and Ulta. And I like the Glow with the Faux. And it's a foam and it comes with a two-sided mitt, which you can see that I've used that side. It's really soft. I think it goes on. It it has a dark tint to it, so as you put it on, you can see where you're putting it, which is really important. I have not ended up streaky with it. Uh, I think it gives me a realistic looking tan, um, which I think is important because a lot of times you'll find that they're orange or like they are streaky. Um, and they also have a really good product too that they're face wipes. So it's the Brazilian face wipes, Brazilians, excuse me, face wipes. You just wipe them off, then you wash your hands, and then you're getting that natural glow to your face as well. Really, really like these. So, and I will continue to purchase them. So then, okay, now let's take, you know, transition into makeup, because I've got quite a lot of things here um, that I'll talk about. Getting into starting my makeup routine I, like a lot of women as I've gotten older, have started under my eyes, having that crepey skin, those fine lines. Um, 
you know, so I've wanted to kind of counteract that and Wonder Cosmetics has a product and it's called the 60 second Recal Reducer. This is like a 60 second eye lift. <laughs> so before I do anything else, prime anything, this goes under my eyes and I give it a minute to sit there and it just helps everything go on so much smoother during the application process. This is amazing. It's called the Wonder Lift. Highly recommend this. Then I do use a couple of primers. Um, like I said, I do have oily skin in the summer. Um, I sweat a lot. So I had someone turn me on to this 100% Beauty and it is the mattifying primer with vitamins and antioxidants. It's made with seaweed collagen. So this just helps me not be so oily. I can continue to look, you know, fresh and glowy, but not you know, gross. <laughs> um, so I've really been enjoying this the past few weeks. Um, I really have noticed a difference under my um, foundation that it hasn't gotten gross. And it really kind of, you know, it doesn't make it slide around or anything. I think it looks really natural. Really like that. But I also like to use a primer that is going to fill in my pores and kind of blur a little bit. Um, I do have pores right here and on my nose that I like to blur and I've tried several other ones and the one I keep coming back to and the one I really like is Benefits Pore Professional. To me it's got and it you know it does it because it's got the silicone in it but everything just wears so much better on my skin with this. So I only put this in my t-zone right here by my nose, by my nose, on my chin and on my forehead and it just just makes me look a lot younger than I am. So I really, 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 really enjoy that. I'm gonna talk about a foundation. This one's kind of pricey. So I understand if you, you know, kind of like balk at this, but I'm telling you, I have never had a foundation go on like this one. It is Dior and it's the Air Flash. This is, it's in a, like a spray can. You almost feel like you're painting a mannequin or something, but it goes on really sheer. It's a 12 hour water resistant wear. I apply it with my beauty blender. I don't know where she is. Um, I apply it with my beauty blender. I can, it's buildable. It's sheer. It goes on sheer at first, but it's buildable. So I can keep going on. But to me, it is probably one of the only foundations I've used that looks like my skin. I don't look like I have put on a ton of makeup. I love that it's a spray. I spray it onto my beauty blender and buff it onto my skin. I think it is just one of the best products I've ever found. It is pricey. I think it is $62 at Sephora. Um, I know you might not want to make that kind of investment. I get it, but I love this. I don't know if any other foundation will probably ever compare to this. So I'll keep trying and like finding out, but this, this is kind of a must have for me right now. Now I know, I will tell you that there is a really good drugstore foundation. The L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear is lightweight, it's matte. It's really good too. I've worn this a lot, but it does have a sunscreen in it, um, SPF, but I just don't find it as natural looking on me as the Dior Air Flash. But it is a really good drugstore brand um, foundation. There's a, so many good things at the drugstore, and I'm gonna talk about a couple other things that are drugstore. But if you don't wanna spend the money on you know, an expensive foundation, this one is really good. Okay, we're gonna stay in the drugstore for a minute. Uh, the blush that I'm really liking right now is from the drugstore. Uh, for the longest time, I have worn NARS Orgasm, which is the highest selling blush in the world. Like it holds some crazy record for the amount of blushes that are sold. It's like every 1.8 seconds, there's a NARS Orgasm blush sold. That's incredible. But I wanted something a little bit warmer tone for the summer. I wanted it to be a little bit peachier and a little bit bronzier. And I picked up this at Target, the Milani, and this is the Baked Powder Blush in Rose de Oro. And I'm from Lexington, Kentucky. And if you're a thoroughbred person like me, 
Medagliadoro is a wonderful stallion. Dioro means of gold. So Medagliadoro is metal of gold. So this is rose of gold and it is really pretty. It's really shiny, but it's got that gold running through it. And to me, it just really creates like a warm cheek look, you know, a, more of a sun kiss, been out in the sun on the beach. Uh, so I'm really enjoying this right now. And then also at the drugstore, the bronzer that I really like is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Not only is it a great bronzer that is buildable, it's not, you don't streak it on your face and it looks like you have mud or brown chalk like some people do when they contour and stuff. It is very buildable. It's, you know, a beautiful color. It comes in different shades. I have the light bronzer. I'm fairly fair, so I don't need anything too dark, but it also smells, <laughs> it just smells like you're at the beach, like that coconut, you know, uh, coconut pineapple drink in your hand. Oh, I could sit there. I love applying this because I'm just like, oh, so good at the drugstore. Now for my highlighter, I am going a little bit higher end. Uh, this brand is known for their highlighters. Becca Cosmetics is known for making one of the best highlighters on the market. And I went with the iconic Champagne Pop that came out about three years ago. And it is so pretty. It has got a peachy golden glow. And I think it just looks very natural. You know, it's, it's, um, I think it's a myth that older women are not supposed to wear highlight, that it's going to accentuate fine lines and wrinkles. Well, you're not really putting it all over your face. So for the most part, your cheekbone is still going to have that definition. So you just want to kind of start right here and go up. You don't really want to get way into where you're going to have all those fine lines and wrinkles. And it just gives that kiss of natural flush and I just think it's pretty. And I think this is a, one of the most universal shade highlighters that's on the market. So I'm really enjoying and really gives me that bronze glow. Like again, like I've been out in the sun, which I really haven't. I've only spent like one day on the beach this year. So uh, I'm really liking that, that it looks that good. Oh, and I totally skipped my concealer that I'm addicted to. I've tried a lot of concealers over the years. Um, I used NARS for a long time. I've tried e.l.f., which is really good. It's a good um, brand that's at Ulta and Target. But the one that is exclusive to Ulta that is my number one right now is the Tarte Shape Tape. No wonder it's got a cult following. It doesn't crease. It looks really good. It's what I have under my eyes. It brightens. It's easy to blend. It's just a really, really, really good concealer. So I think you know, if you're looking for a concealer, it's not that expensive, but it is more than like a drugstore concealer, but it's really good. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about my favorite brow products right now, and this is a new one for me. Um, if you see me without makeup, I have really thin brows, and as I've gotten older, they've gotten thinner, they're, they've gotten lighter. Um, when I was 11 or 12, my brother and I got into a fight on Halloween, and he threw a broomstick at me. So in this eyebrow, I had to have stitches. So when I don't have makeup, I have like a bald spot. Um, Urban Decay just launched a new brow line. Uh, this one is called the Brow Blade. On one side, it's your regular like skinny pencil that you go in and define. And what's really cool is on the other side is a felt tip pen. And it really does create like little hair uh, like strokes, it's genius. And <laughs> I love it. It's changed the game for me with my eyebrows. And then they also have the double down brow, which is two different colors um, of powder. And it comes with a little brush that has a spoolie and a really thin brow brush that you can go through and make little hairs to. Um, I think both of mine are taupe, yep, taupe trap, because I do have lighter brows. Um, they have several different shades, but this, this, to, these together are my new favorite brow products. That they've, they're really, it's so much easy. I can do my brows in like two minutes now. I love it. Another primer that I forgot um, is that I always do use an eyeshadow primer under my eyeshadow, and one that other YouTubers have turned me on to is the Mac Painterly Paint Pot. Um, it looks really thick. It actually looks like it's more peach, but when you put it on, it's that natural 
you know, fair skin toned color and it really has helped my shadows blend nicer. Uh, I really do like the way it looks. So that's a really good product. This one is, is something you really don't hear about, but I love it. It is from Pixie Beauty that I talked about that is at Target. It's exclusively at Target. It is a lower lash line mascara. I know that sounds crazy, but I have very small, thin, lower eyelashes. And this has the smallest little spoolie brush. And it really allows me to be able to get into those eyelashes and put some dimension on my lower lash line. Uh, it is only at Target, and I know Clinique makes one too, but you know, if you're gonna go pick up some awesome skincare, I've put some Pixie Beauty skincare into my routine. Uh, what a cool product, like, it's kinda cool. Let's see, I think I only have a couple more left, and then we'll, I'm going to go to lip products, and my favorite lip products right now are from a YouTube star, Jeffree Star. He really has made some really, really great lip products. I know he says that he's played with makeup since 12 and has been on YouTube reviewing makeup for a very long time. And so he knows what he's talking about. My first thing is his Velour Lip Scrub. It's a sugar lip scrub. It's one of the best on the market. They smell amazing. They actually taste very good. They are really great to exfoliate um, your lips before you do any lip products. That's a really good one. Um, I really do enjoy his Velour Lip Liquid Lips, and I've worn this quite a bit. This is Candy Ass, and it is a really pretty pink, shimmery color. And so I wear that, but also he has like a wonderful doe foot applicator with a little curve in it, so it kind of hugs your lip. That's a really, they're really, really good. Um, he just launched a new lip gloss line. Love these. These smell like creme brulee. <laughs> and I just got it all over my nose. How much I love them. They come in a bunch of different colors. I think he launched 18. There's the metallic one. And then he's got like an extreme gloss one. And then these two just came from his new collection, his Jawbreaker collection, and I've been playing with them. This is Candy Candy Freeze, and I've been wearing these, and look how, oh, it's pink, which obviously, hmm, notice a the theme. It's not as bright as you think. It's just got a sheer, it's very sheer. These are his liquid uh, ammunition bullets, and this one is called Glazed, and I really like this to wear, I mean, you can barely see it on here, but in real life, it's kind of a golden sheen. And I've, I've been enjoying wearing that. One more lip product that I talked about in my last video. One more lip product that I talked about in my last video is the Jouer Beach Days, which I know I swatched in the last one, but I've been wearing this a ton. This, let's put it here, that way it doesn't get confused. I've been wearing that a ton this summer. It goes with everything. I mean, it would go with this look, but I, you know, I put on, why not? You know what? You only live once. Put that right over that nude lip that I had. I mean, it just had something. I've been wearing it by itself. I've been wearing it over stuff. I've been it's just, oh, it's just really pretty. And I think it's very universal. It's that duochrome, has gold, like a hot pink. It just, it's just stunning. I think the only other thing that I wanna talk about is my tried and true fragrance that I don't know if I'll ever, I'm a creature of habit. I've, I, I know I have been playing with all this new makeup and stuff, but I'm a creature of habit. And this is one of those things that probably will never leave my repertoire. And that is Clinique Happy in Bloom. You know, I got addicted to the Happy when it came out. Loved it. Um, they had like a citrus one too that I can't remember what the knit was happy something. But this one, this is my signature scent. If you smell me, this, it's light, it's floral, but it's got hints of citrus. It is my signature. I just really love that. So, uh, oh, I do have one more product. It's one more makeup product. I have my last up video. I completely forgot about this. 
I think it's important at the end of doing your makeup, especially in the summer, because it's gonna be hot, you might be sweating, who knows, if you're like me, you get oily. I think it's really important to use a setting spray. I know like for years, they didn't even exist, and then they came around. My favorite that I have been using for years is Urban Decay All Nighter, and it is amazing. And I, you just spray it and let it dry, and you know what? I can be a testament to this because I've swam in makeup. Um, like I said, I've shown horses in makeup. This, my makeup still looks like I just did it when I get off that horse and I'm sweaty. It still looks nice when I got out of the pool. I, this, I know a lot of people like the Max, um, excuse me, the Mac Fix Plus, which is great too, but this one is my all time favorite. I love it so much. So thanks for going through all the products with me. I just wanted to kind of share some of my favorites so that, you know, maybe you could try them out and see what you thought. Uh, let me know what you think below. Tell me what your few products are. Uh, favorite, tell me what your favorite products are and let me know, you know, down below. Push subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, give me a thumbs up on the video. Uh, and just please keep supporting me. Please share this. Uh, I appreciate all the love and support. And I love you guys very much. See you soon. Mwah.